Hello world, this is Nesso from Rome, Italy. Welcome to my live session for Humanissimo Artificiale. Today I'm going to make a track using Tidal Cycle, the free software developed by Alex McLean. I will try to be more clear possible, I will try to explain everything, but just enough an hour, so I have to be pretty fast. And I will not use custom function from my library, so I hope you will understand all the process and of me building this system I'll be playing. Feel free also to comment if something is not clear or to contact me. I'm happy to answer your question and to hear feedbacks on my work. So I will start by doing something like this. Something I've been using often so far and is driving a stack with a struct. Yep, so something like this and here I can layer some uh, samples in order to have a richer timber and I really like this actually so here with the P argument I'm going to control the legato of oh legato is not what I'm looking for legato of this um, of this and yep so now I can type in the one the oh, dollar I will use yeah binary to create a pattern. Yeah, I don't care. Um, and oh, I'm screwing this up. So I recall the function binary and then give allegato to the second sample. Okay, so maybe a little bit longer. Yeah, I don't like this sample actually. Let's try the second. Yeah, better. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. So we have to move pretty fast. As I said before, so let's do, make this a little bit more neat. Yeah, very important to be neat while you're coding. Actually make you save a lot of time. Yeah, so let's go ahead. And I think I'm gonna make a few of these since I like this approach and I'm gonna use it pretty much, I guess, in this tutorial. Uh, in this video so uh yeah i will create a snare now uh yep and uh, yeah let's hear how this sounds Okay, let's don't lose too much time on this. So let's create another one of these. I think I'll create a hat. Yeah, actually creating a small drum kit with this approach. And yeah, something like this. Yeah. So. Yeah, cool, I like this one. But this may be a little bit shorter. Yeah, something like... Yeah, nice. Okay, so... I want to create 
the last one of this uh ascent yeah we need ascent in the truck for sure so let's create our synth these are all samples i imported from my custom library so if you want to use the just approach you have to find your own samples yeah oh it's already pretty cool um so let's see let's see how which one of these guys yeah this is playing just on this side yeah cool i like this one yeah this one sounds great to me yeah this also is playing on just on one side yeah maybe i can yeah maybe i can really i'm not hearing this so well yeah in fact there is not much to hear i guess mm. Mm. yeah this one seems good Oh, one, one thing I could do is to get this a little bit more variation. I could add a random a range actually here with random. So I get a little bit of variation on when, how this sounds. Yep, something like this. Yeah, very cool very very cool at least very cool for me um okay so i'm pretty happy on how these things are playing now now let's just um, yeah so in all of these i'm using logato as the second argument and yeah so i don't i kind of think i will remember this and now i want to uh evaluate all of this so I can use them outside of uh, of this block because with the in uh, this would work just locally on that block of code. Now it works on all my code. Sorry if this wasn't clear, but there's not much time. Um, so now let's build a stack, and I want to group all of this. So I will start. Yeah, actually. Um, what I would like to do now is to do yeah something like this. I will group all of this inside one whole stack. Yeah. So like this and yeah, this one too. Yeah, actually I don't need to copy and paste, it's not much to write, and I don't wanna keep this now. Yeah, because actually i'm gonna replace this with a variable so i can fastly change the pattern i yeah uh, i've seen this approaching kingdoms video and i think it's pretty good yeah so i'm gonna keep the pattern here and so here i'm just gonna write path and this will work and here i'm gonna use uh, in yep so yep like this and what binary does if you don't know it converts a number in a boolean pattern actually in a in the binary version of that so it's a boolean pattern yeah let's say hey yeah i give it a legato like this and synth Sin is gonna give me yeah also part yeah something like this 
should work. Yeah, now I think we're gonna hear all of these layers one on top of the other, which could be a little mess, but I mean, let's try it. Yeah, I think, well, actually, this is pretty cool. It reminds me of some Mark Fell stuff, like Atavism, all that stuff. I love those sounds. I mean, those were far way better than this, but it's a starting point. And okay, we have 10 minutes, so we have got like one third is gone. You have to be fast. So in order to make this a little bit better, I think I'm gonna do, yeah, something like uh, this. I'll slightly open up on the stereo field for some of these samples, like this one, yeah. Yeah, a little better. Now what I want to do now is actually uh, taking this, only one of this, and yeah, actually here I think I will Yeah, better, definitely better. Now, what I want to do is make um, make this uh, moving in time. So something like this. Yeah, now I'll use a short value. So, yeah. Yeah, actually maybe Actually, maybe the best approach of doing is to find the values first.
Okay, cool. Uh, let's hear out this sound, but we're gonna replace this with a more a longer value. Now, of course, this. Yeah, now what I want to do is offsetting all these, slowing them in different ratios so I get like this, yeah, this kind of stuff. Yeah, now I want to rotate this but I have a cycle and see the result. Let's feel this. Wow, this is so cool. Okay, so now what I want to do is, yeah, let me think. I think I'll define some more variables. Yeah, I could define something, something like, actually, let me see if this thing works. If I do something like this. Okay, this works. This is amazing, guys. I have something in mind that I think it's gonna be cool. Yeah, we can do. Yeah, but no, 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 no. I don't want to do this. Not anymore. We can do something like this, and yep, maybe something. Yeah, this will will keep it like this. And but here I want to do something like this. And like this. I don't know if this is the correct way of doing this, but this would work for sure. I mean, the, the C with all this, those parentheses, but yeah. So, yeah, we can do something like this and replace all of this with 16. So now I've made like a um, C variable that is going to allow me to flip all of this. Yeah, of course it's not working. No instance arising from the or maybe you haven't applied expression 16, slow 16, slow 16. Let's see if it's this one is the one that seems stranger. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe this works, I don't know. No. Mm. Yeah, this is kind of a askle thing. Uh, I don't know why this should work. I mean, maybe I could do something like this. And yeah, and like this. I don't know, I'm kind of messing this up. So let me think. Like, I have this number which is 16, and I want to subtract 5, but Askel is not allowing me to do this like this. So let's see if I do something like this. Maybe it's going to work. I don't know. Yeah, so um, what I want to do is move this. Okay, now I want to move this so you can hear what I've just did. So this is it. And now they are all synchronized, but as I move C, they're going to offset each other.
Yeah, of course, this is just concerning the legato. So if you can hear it, it's because of this, maybe this needs to be fine-tuned a little bit. So what else can we do? Okay, this was very cool, this rotation approach. Now let's see, maybe we could do something like this. And that could be cool. Yeah, so I've used the same approach to multiply all these values by a value, so I can control. So this would be the logato offset, and this is the rotation. Exactly, it's the rotation, rotation difference. We can call it like this. And of course, we can still change the pattern here. So do stuff like this. Yeah, now it's all about typing random numbers inside binary and get the result you want. <laughs> yeah, this is actually very cool. I think I'm gonna build a whole discography out of this algorithm. No, I'm joking. Okay, what else can we do now? Yeah, we still have uh, seven minutes to go. So let's think, yeah, I think I will add some stuff here. Yes, why not? So maybe some long term changes. Yeah, like this. Yeah, maybe I could, for example, do something like this. And yeah, sometime I could degrade, degrade this by a huge amount and add some start with magic. Yeah, something like this could work. Ooh, what have I done? Uh, no, this should go here, yeah. And so something like this. Oh, I'm mistyping everything. Yeah, this, no, okay, like this, yeah. Yeah, and I want to add multiple stuff to this one, so I'll do like this, and I can do like this also, yeah. Again, and also, oh, what the f mm. And also, Algaro. Yeah, 
like this. Let's hear this.
Okay, guys, sorry, I wasn't checking the time. We are already run out of time. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful, inspiring for some of you. And just let me know what you think about it. And it was fun for me. And see you.